Hey there, Leo, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your weekly reading. In this reading, we're going to take a look at past, present, and near future energies, as well as any energies the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week. Also, Leo, please remember that if someone is strongly energetically connected to you, they may show up in your reading. So take the energies as they resonate. They may be reversible or interchangeable between you and your person. All right, Leo, the main energy that you're going to be dealing with this week is the judgment. You or your person or a relationship or all three are going through a transformative process. There's a lot of awakening energy. There's a lot of realizations coming to the surface. Love it. In the recent past, you get the Eight of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. Somebody here is really sitting and evaluating whether or not they should come forward and communicate. They have this desire to open up. They have a desire to communicate. Um to talk about something, but I don't know if they're going to necessarily do that. I feel like this is you where you're like, should I, should I not? We'll see what this is about. In your current situation, you get the Eight of Swords, the Six of Wands, the Ten of Swords. There's something here that you're overthinking. You're overthinking this a lot. Um, almost to the point of like not moving, not doing anything, being stuck in this energy, just thinking, thinking, overthinking. You want to overcome this and you want to feel good. You want to feel successful. You want to feel victorious about whatever the situation is, but you're also carrying an energy of it's done. It's over. You know, there's no way this is going to work out. I don't know what this is about. I feel like this is a relationship. I don't, I'll, I'll see when we clarify in your near future, you get the page of cups, the temperance and the knight of cups. Somebody here is moving from the page of cups to the knight of cups, their emotions, their intensity of their feelings is developing. It's growing. Um, they want to come forward, possibly even apologize, but they definitely want to come forward and open up and express how they feel from a place of love. And this is coming from a very balanced energy as well. They've been going through this healing process or they, they will be going through a healing process. And this is during this time, they realize the intensity of their emotions and how their emotions are growing. Very interesting. Let's start off by clarifying the eight of wands in your recent past. Let's see what this communication is about. If you want to communicate, if it's your person... Eight, oh wow, that's awesome. Eight of Wands is clarified by the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Seven of Swords. You get the Knight of Cups closing out your reading and you get it opening up your reading. Beautiful. Somebody here wants to communicate about how they feel. Okay, they have a lot of emotions. They had a lot of love. Could be you, could be your person, right? Take the energies as they resonate. I just read the energy. I don't know who it belongs to. But this person that wants to communicate about how they feel, remember how I said they're evaluating whether they should or they shouldn't? I don't see them actually doing that because... What they're doing is they're looking at this and they're like, yeah, I want to communicate. I want to express how I feel, but I shouldn't. What I should do is just walk away, shut off my emotions completely, pretend like I don't feel anything and just turn my back and leave this connection, leave this behind. I don't care how I feel. I don't care that I want to talk about it. Thing is with the seven of swords, I don't see this person fully committing to this whole walking away nonsense because it's kind of like they're walking away one day and then the next day they turn back and they're like, oh man. Maybe I should go back. Maybe I should just send them a text message. So I, I don't feel like them, even if they did walk away in the recent past, or if this is you, I don't feel like whoever this person is fully committed to this. I don't feel anything. I don't want anything. I don't have any emotions. Let's take a look at the seven of pentacles in the recent past. Ooh. Okay. I'll take that. Two more for the seven of pentacles in the recent past for Leah. Seven of Pentacles is clarified by the Tower, the Three of Swords, and the Chariot. Somebody here is taking a look, and it's like, the way they're looking at this is, they're like, yeah, I'm going about my day, everything's fine, and then bam, out of nowhere, whoever this person is gets slammed in the face with this emotional pain that they haven't dealt with. Somebody here in the recent past is carrying heartbreak. They're carrying emotional pain that they don't want to face. They don't want to deal with it. Now... When you're carrying this emotional pain, the universe, like you have to process it. The pain's not just going to go away if you don't look at it. And so it's almost like in the recent past, the universe is kind of slapping this person in the face and being like, hey, you're still carrying this heartbreak with you. You got to deal with it. This person is trying to like move past it and like not really work through it. Again, this could be you, could be your person, but good luck ignoring that. You, the pain doesn't just go away if you don't look at it, right? And so I feel like the universe is trying to get whoever this person is to be like, hey, you got this. You still have to deal with it. 
Let's take a look at the Page of Wands in the recent past. Page of Wands is clarified by the Ace of Swords, King of Cups, Knight of Wands. So we've gone from the Page to the Knight. There is, again, a progression. Somebody here, and I feel like this is you, Leo, is realizing and getting very, very clear about the fact that they're still carrying feelings for somebody. Not only are they carrying feelings, they have a lot of love for this person. And again, I feel like this is you. You may be the one carrying this emotional pain, being like, well, I want to talk to this person. I want to come forward, but it's not going to work out. But, you know, they broke my heart, but I don't feel anything. Either way, somebody here in, in the recent past is really realizing like, damn, I still have feelings and I got a lot of feelings. There's lots of love and there's lots of passion, whatever this is tied up to. Let's take a look at the Eight of Swords in the current situation. Okay, okay, this is definitely love. There's a connection here. You may be dealing with a Taurus. Um, if it's not a Taurus, this is a connection that is super intense, could even be a marriage or something that has the seriousness of a marriage. Somebody here in the current situation wants to start fresh. They want to start over. They realize that there's a lot of love here and they're like, okay, I get it. Stuff happened in the past. Things went down between us. You know, it wasn't the best. Nasty stuff happened, but let's start fresh. Let's start over. The problem is this person is overthinking this so, so much. Should I? Shouldn't I? What should I say? What if I say this and they say that? The desire to start... <laughs> Queen of Cups just popped out. I didn't even ask the question. King of Cups queen of cups y'all are a divine pair with love so much love but whoever this person is they're really stuck in their head about this whole thing like they know what they want but they're stuck in their head about should i shouldn't i what if this will hurt again what if this won't work out again da, 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 da. let's take a look at the six of wands in the current situation oh my god come on spirit oh, okay one two three cards all right all right i'll take it i'll take it Six of Wands is clarified by the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Wands. Somebody here is really just wanting to feel good and feel like they were able to achieve a goal that they had. It could be getting back together. It could be starting over. It could be letting go of the past, right? If this is you, you would know what this energy is about. You know that achieving this goal and basically kind of like, yes, I did it, I made it, will bring you a lot of happiness. The problem is you're really stuck in your head about it. Again, you're overanalyzing the situation to the point where it may be inducing anxiety. If you're thinking and overthinking and you still haven't, you know, found a solution, maybe you should just take a step back and just like let the universe guide you in the right direction, you know? You know what makes you happy. You know what the feeling is that you want to experience. When you're sitting here and you're like, losing sleep about how to make it happen and how to bring it to the surface, that's where it becomes problematic. And I feel like this anxiety that you may be experiencing in the current situation has to do with this connection and your desire to start over, but not acting based off of how you feel because you're overthinking it. There's so many thoughts here. Let's take a look at the 10 of swords in the current. Oh my God, spirit. Sorry, Leo, give me a second. Spirit, I can't take all these cards. It's like six cards right now on the floor. Goodness. All right. I can't, I can't take all those cards. Spirit's like, I have so much to say. I know. Give me three, please, and let's keep them on the table this time for the Ten of Swords in the current situation for Leo. Ten of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Swords again, the Wheel of Fortune and the Temperance which you get in the near future. Unfortunately, Leo, if this is you, um... These energies that you're dealing with right now, you're meant to deal with them. You're meant to have this energy. This ending that you're experiencing, and it's possibly a very painful ending because the Ten of Swords is showing up twice, you're meant to go through this. This is meant to send you into a very healing, transformative place. Usually, and don't forget that the judgment is the main energy for your reading this week, which is all about healing and transformation. Whatever the struggle is that you're feeling in the current situation, it's not going to last forever. And I know that it's really rough. I know these are difficult energies to deal with. But the cards are letting me know that you're meant to be going through this process so you can heal and transform and really grow from it. Let's take a look at the Page of Cups in the near future. Love it. Love it. So... Remember how I said you're meant to grow and heal and transform? In the near future, the Page of Cups is clarified by the Star, Two of Cups, Three of Cups. You have a desire here to open up, to reconcile with someone because you have a lot of love for them, Leo. And not only do I see you having this desire, 
I see you actually coming forward with the page of cups. This could be you, this could be your person, but whoever this person is, they have so much love. Their biggest wish, their biggest dream, it's like wish upon a star type energy. They want to get back together with you. They have love. They want to, to get back together with you, to feel that love, to just feel good, feel happy, and just express how they feel. Man, that's beautiful. Let's take a look at the temperance in the near future. Yeah. Temperance is clarified by the strength, the world, the six of cups. Remember how I said here that you are meant to go through this painful ending, this painful cycle <clears throat> to heal and transform? In the near future, the universe is letting you know, yes, this was hard. Yes, this was difficult, but you had to close out that cycle. Whatever that cycle was, that painful ending, and it's not necessarily ending a relationship. It's just ending some aspect, some cycle in your life. It was difficult, but you had to go through it. That cycle had to close out for you to reach this place of being able to access this divine connection, being able to come together, maybe with the person from your past, maybe with a new person. But this whole ending was meant to happen for your growth and transformation. And in the near future, spirit is like, yeah, it was hard. It was painful. But you close that cycle out. That cycle is done and you're moving on to a much, much better energy. Let's take a look at the Knight of Cups in the near future, closing out your reading. Knight of Cups is clarified by the Page of Cups, which you got right here, tied up to the um, the desire to reconcile, the Six of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man. Somebody here really, really wants to come forward and let you know how they feel, Leo. And this could be you. And the reason this person is doing this is because they want to balance out the energies. I feel like this is someone from your past. I don't feel like this is somebody new. Um, and again, if this is you, I feel like you know exactly who you're trying to approach. I feel exact like you know exactly what you want to say to them how you want to say it, because you're coming from a very balanced, very good place. You just want to make things feel right between the two of you again. An equal give and take, good energy where you feel balanced, they feel balanced, and you both feel balanced together. Thing is with the hangman, I think you might be a little bit stuck. I don't see you moving quite yet. I see somebody having this desire to reconcile. I see them going through that, reaching the conclusion that this is what they want to do, but I don't see them necessarily taking action quite yet. Very beautiful. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let's take a look at what the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week, Leo. The judgment as the main energy is usually a little bit difficult because transformations come along, you know, you grow and evolve not from a place of comfort, but from a place where you're challenged. Okay. Cup of cups, two more. Um, but the end result is just amazing. Yep. From the universe, you get the Five of Cups, the Magician, the Three of Pentacles. There's something that happened in your past between you and another person, and I feel like it, it was not the best energy. There's regret, there's remorse tied up to it, there's some painful, like, oh man, why did it have to go down this way? Either way, I see you in the current situation, and this week in particular, working on manifesting this this like a collaboration between you and this person. It's not so much where you're necessarily manifesting coming back together, although in the near future I see that happening or I see somebody having that desire. But in the current situation, it's almost like you're looking at it and you're like, yeah, I know things went down between us in the past. I don't like how things went down. I don't like the energy that we had. It was really heavy. Maybe you regret some stuff that you did or said. You're manifesting you and this person coming back together and just working on restoring trust, hanging out. Let's see how I feel next to you. Let's see how you feel next to me. I give a little, you give a little. Let's rebuild that trust before we even get into this like love dynamic again. Very nice. I love it. I love it, Leo. Thank you so much for tuning in. That is what I have for you. If this reading resonated, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me out. And thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you here next week. Bye, Leo.